Fall Guys Season 1 had so many amazing and fun maps that you all know and love. And Season 2 is bringing us even more of what we love. And recently, a new Fall Guys map called Night's Fever was leaked by IGN. And it looks amazing. So, using this trailer, I'm gonna bring you guys 5 tips that you guys can use to win Night's Fever every time. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you guys end up enjoying today's video, then subscribe. It's free and it really helps us grow out the channel. First, let me do a quick rundown to show what the map actually looks like. But if you already know what the map is, then skip to this time on screen. In the beginning, everyone spawns in four lines. And once the game starts, you have to make your way up this purple curved ramp that has swinging axes on them. And once you pass that, then you have to cross over one of these three wooden poles, and then one of those two wooden poles. And all the poles have pink spikes constantly spinning on them to knock you off. And then you will find a slime hill that you can slide down on. And then there's a long curved purple platform with holes that has an obstacle that goes by the name Thick Bonkus. Seriously, look at the Fall Guys Twitter, it's a real thing. And then lastly, you have to make your way over these three drawbridges that are constantly going up and down and then you can reach the finish line and qualify. Alright, now that we know the map Night Fever, the next thing we need to do is go over the five main tips. And there will be a timestamp for each tip in the description, so if you guys want to fast forward or rewind to a certain tip, then go ahead and use that. The first tip that I want to talk about is a way to go over these wooden poles safer. When you walk over, there are all these pink spikes that are going to come at you, and they're all going to come at you at the same direction. So if you stay on the side that the spikes are coming from, then the spikes will have to push you farther rather than if you stood on the middle or right side of this pole. For example, this clip in the trailer shows it perfectly. This person gets pushed by the spike, but since they're on the left side, they don't get hit off. And by using this picture of standing on the left, middle, and right, we can see the distance that the spikes will need to push you off and the left side for this pole is the way to go. The second tip I want to show you guys is a way to not get hit by thick bonkus. If you want to avoid getting hit, the best way to do that is to go on the side where thick bonkus is, and as soon as it starts going away from you, then go across, because it will give you a much better time to cross, because if you go across while thick bonkus has to swing away from you, and then swing all the way back, then you will make it over much easier. But if you just go across carelessly, then your time to cross won't be as long as if you timed it right. That'll increase your chances of getting hit off and we don't want that. The third tip I want to talk about is a way to make your runs faster and get first place medals more often. When playing on Night's Fever, there aren't that many ways to really optimize and speed up your run. But that was until I saw the slime hill at the middle of the course. Now what most people would do is to just slide down it because sliding makes you faster, right? But if you want to go down even faster, then you want to use bunny hopping. For those of you who don't know how to bunny hop in Fall Guys, all you really have to do is spam your jump button when going down a slope, and that will speed you up a lot, especially when you're going down on slime. Today's fourth tip is how to go over the drawbridges at the end on the first try. The drawbridges are a new obstacle, so they're going to be kind of tricky, but once you get the hang of it, they can actually be pretty easy. After reviewing footage from the trailer of the drawbridges, I found that the best way that you want to go over them is when the bridge that's closest to you is lower than the bridge that is farthest from you. And the reason why is if the bridge closer to you is lower, that means that while you're crossing over, the bridge that you're on will come back up before the other bridge you want to go on. So then you can jump down onto the other bridge and make it to the finish line. But if the bridge across from you was higher, then you wouldn't be able to make it over or you would maybe be able to make it over, but it would still slow you down. Finally, the fifth tip I want to talk about is a way to grief. And you guys know I love griefing strategies, so I had to include this in today's video. There are a few ways I found that you can grief on Night's Fever, but the best way that I could think of is on the wooden poles with pink spikes. And what you want to do is wait on the pole and grab people who are about to cross. So while you're holding them, the pink spike will come at them and hit them off. This is similar to another griefing strategy that I use. It's on Slime Climb where you hold people before they cross these pushy things, and as you can see, it works wonders. So if you use the same strategy on Night's Fever, you can maybe get a laugh or two griefing some randoms. Alright, that's the end of the video. Subscribe.